Hi alumni buddies, it's Robbie here again and I had so much uh, help on the alumni Facebook page last week with getting an app ranked and reviewed that I wanted to add some goodwill back into the group and what I wanted to do was to revisit AdWorld again and show you how to set up a couple of the developer IDs, specifically one for AdMob as a lot of people will be, probably be using that one. So let's just go to adworld.com and this is the AdWorld video part two and there'll be a lot more uh, particularly with AdWorld to come in the future but right now let's go to adworld.com and log in for those of you that are new to this if you want to watch video one I give you a full walkthrough but you log in down here in the bottom right hand corner if you've already got a account if not very simple to log in and very simple to sign up you remember that I had an app called rally stage timer and the free version had AdWorld delivering the ads through AdMob and several other um, various ad networks. Let's just click in here and see what we've got set up. You see I've got the AdMob, Google AdSense, I'm delivering some house ads and some iAds and what I want to show you today is how to get the publisher ID, the correct publisher ID for the AdMob app that you want to use. So let's go over to AdMob by clicking here on the network website and paying a quick visit into this. I'm already logged in so let me log out and show you what this is like. This is the um, AdMob page. You can sign in with your Google account and you can sign up with your Google account also. I'm just going to sign in with one of my accounts. And here you see we've got the um, the AdMob interface, you've got campaigns, sites and apps, that's what we're going to concentrate on right now. There's also tools and there's also an accountancy section here as well and you can also get reports. So we need to add an app in order to get the correct publisher ID to put into AdWorld. And let me show you how you do that. So what you got to do is here you got to click on add an app you got to tell it what it is, an Android, an iPad or an iPhone. This is going to be an iPhone app. And then you simply got to basically fill out the information. So mine is Rally Timer. The free version. Now, you can set this up before your app is actually published onto the App Store. And you can come back in and actually put in the URL before it gets approved. But if you do that, you're not actually going to generate any rep any reports for clicks or anything like that. So I'm going to uh, go to iTunes and just get my link for the Rally Stage Timer by selecting this little drop down menu here and copy the link. And I'm going to paste that in here. I'm going to select the category that this app is based in, which is mainly sports. And then you can just give a basic app description. It's only for your own purpose. So then you gotta select whether to use keyword keyword targeted ads um, or not to use them. You can leave them on, that's fine. Then you get to choose the theme. You can see how it's black, red, light, chrome, etc. Whatever suits your app, uh, whatever's going to be more effective. I'm going to go with a purple one because my body of my app is mainly black. I don't want to get it to get too lost there. <coughs> you can actually customize the background and the text if you want to do that as well. But I'm going to just basically use the orange background as a as an example. And then you've got to just type in the quick capture. It's kind of hard to read. Very hard to read actually. Don't even know if that's going to work. Let me just check. Okay, so that's worked pretty good. And as you can see, you've now got to install the code, which I've already done in my app for the SDK. But for those of you that don't have it, you can just download the AdMob SDK and save it to file. It's nice to have all those SDK files there in one compressed zip file for your developer. So you're sending him a bundle of SDKs that he can install at the one time and that's gonna work really good for him. So you can then go to your sites and your apps. You can see here is your rally timer uh, free. 
Um, there's a mediation uh, service available where you can actually mediate between AdMob and AdWorld, but we're not going to concentrate on that right now. We're just going to go to the settings. And you can see up here on the top left hand corner you have the name, you have the URL and we have the publisher ID for this app. That's what I need to copy. I want to go back now into AdWorld and I want to replace that publisher ID that I had with this one and select save changes. And I'm going to apply 70% of the ad mob and 10% of the other three to make a total of 100% and I'm going to save the changes. And that's confirmed the changes there and it's all saved and done. Now that's exactly how you do the publisher ID for that as you can just double check it again and make sure that that all works. So let's go back into AdMob uh, one last time and we just look uh, quickly at the uh, mediation end of this. Okay, so what you gotta do is you gotta go to Sites and Applications, drop down here to Add Network Mediation. And if you quick, quickly want to have a uh, fast download of what Add uh, Network Mediation is, um, AdMob will actually pull ads from Adphonic, Brightroll, and much, much more networks uh, and actually deliver them through the one interface and the one connection that you have there with that publisher ID. Uh, if you want to import the app placement that you have in, that you have in AdWorld, all you have to do is select this link here is to import the placement. Then you have to allow AdMob to log into AdWorld. It goes there automatically. <coughs> it already has your information filled out. You just press submit. Give it a couple of minutes and you're going to see that it'll come back with uh, whatever apps you have um, installed through AdWorld. And it'll also tell you what networks it can work with. So here you can see is my rally stage timer free it's telling me it can import two of the four networks that I have allocated. Now it's also telling me that it's not going to actually import my house ads, which is fine. And you just can select to import. This is just a basic um, information that's taken from uh, AdWorld. And you can see here how it's taken over the AdMob network 80% and the iAds 20%. And then it's going to evenly distribute the final 20% uh, proportionately or evenly between those two um, apps. And then we can just select import there. So that's that, that's that imported. Now one last thing if you want to make sure that it's all talking and it's all working is if you go to the AdMob network you'll see edit settings and just want you to double check the uh, publisher ID and make sure that's working fine. If that is not correct, what's going to happen is you're going to get a round circle here with uh, publication ID incorrect and the import has failed. If that's the case, you just got to go back, delete the app out again from the AdMob network, make sure that you've got the right publisher ID uh, placed here in the AdWorld network and it's going to work pretty seamlessly from there on in. So that's pretty much it for the part two of the AdWorld video. Um, as you can see my voice is pretty much gone. I've been sick the last couple of weeks. That's why I haven't been able to make these videos. But as I come across uh, this information and as I develop it out myself I'll be sure to add it up and hopefully it'll help somebody along the way and it'll help you avoid the obstacles that um, a lot of people would generally trip up with. That's all for now. See you again really soon.